All right, back here at home, we've been talking about the air quality, how the fires there impact us here at home. Dave, are we seeing a whole lot of smoky conditions here in the Bay? Well, we're getting some of that, too. That's been due also to the high pressure. You just don't get that much mixing going on. We'll get a little bit better on the way of surface winds as the high eases off a little bit to the east. And this is almost kind of like uh, Grover and Sesame Street or whatever. You know, you've got cool and warm, cool and warm. Here's our inversion right here, just like a line, if you will, with the fog kind of hovering there because that marine layer slipped below us. And right above, it didn't get as much cooling. You folks in those inland valleys didn't see the temperatures drop as much with that marine layer of moisture not getting out to you. 66 San Francisco, 70 going on for Oakland for a high today and 82 San Jose. Now, current numbers for you. We got 65, meanwhile, for Antioch and Concord at 64. East Bay Shoreline, we got those 50s in place. 62 for San Jose, 55 for Santa Rosa, 55 for San Francisco. 90s for those inland valleys today, but those 90s look like they will be mid to lower 90s going on. East Bay Shoreline even looking at some 70s, so not quite too bad on those highs today and then the rest of the week the treat continues this is our dessert coming sunny with 80s inland cool 70s for the east bay shoreline all week long let's keep this going for the weekend this mild july continues with 80s 70s for the east bay shoreline and chilly 60s out towards the coast flipping in into next week in fact next month it looks like that pattern is somewhat close although the models are fighting a little bit so let's say 90 ish for the inland highs as a working thesis for right now Futurecast 4, there's that marine layer. It mixes out. Typical. Afternoon showers do fire up a little bit around Yosemite, just a touch. But that's all to the south, associated with this low, as I mentioned, drifting further to the east. Let's get to Wednesday now. Here it is back again. Might even get some East Bay drizzle a little bit in some spots there. And mixing out. Afternoon cloud cover, as you can see, shifting towards the south, indicating the high is moving off towards the east, letting us breathe. Speaking of which, how are our winds doing? We have a little bit of a spike today today and this pronunciation is this pop may be a little bit more than we were thinking from yesterday might actually control temperatures a little bit inland this afternoon and another nice little pop happening in here tomorrow too so at least we're getting some breathing in the atmosphere here where when that highs directly overhead that doesn't happen so much highs today 92 Antioch 91 for Livermore 90 for Concord yeah it's still the 90s but nothing like we haven't been through already 90 Santa Rosa 66 San Francisco and 61 for Half Moon Bay next couple of days. Look at the mate. He's already lined up for us Wednesday through Thursday and continues through the weekend. Continuing on with Bay Area traffic. Raina, how do we stand on the barrier bridges? All right, let's